Okay, well, whatever doesn't fit, I'll have shipped ahead to one of the stops on the trip. <laughs> I hate doing this. Well, I do too, but there's no time for the staff to pack for me. Fancy, mm -hmm. I am talking about leaving Harmony because of the threat that Juanita poses to all of us. I'm not the type to just run from some whack job, you know. I know. I know. And I know that you and Miguel are fighting this instinct to stay and take on Juanita, but this is what your mother wants. And I respect you respecting her wishes to leave Harmony. Well, I just hope that I don't slip up and let her know that I know what this trip's all about. Well, please just be careful. Don't tell Pilar that I broke my promise to keep the truth from you. Kay and I swore we wouldn't. Well, I'll try. The more I think about Juanita, the angrier I get. Well, you can't go back on your word. Why not? You broke your promise to Mama. Honey, thank you for allowing me to see you both together. I have something extremely important that I want to discuss with you. You sound upset. Please sit down. Well, I just... I have a lot on my mind, mainly. This family vacation that I'm planning. Oh? Well, I just thought that an extended trip to honor Teresa's memory would be good for everyone. So we're leaving Harmony right after Miguel and Paloma's double wedding with Kay and Noah. Who's going? Uh, the entire family. How long will you be gone for? A while. Um, exactly how long is still up in the air. Is Luis going too? Luis and Fancy both. But I'm pregnant with Luis's baby. I need him here with me. And Marty needs Luis here, too. I understand that. That's why I, I want you both to come with us on this trip. I, I don't know about that. Yeah, this is so out of the blue. Please, don't debate me on this. I need you to come with me on this trip. It's as simple as that. No, no, it's not. I mean, what is really going on here? I mean, this is more than just a simple family vacation. I agree with Aunt Sheridan. There's something you're not telling us. You're right. The thing is, all our lives are in danger, and if we don't leave Harmony right away, we're all going to die. Pilar's family is about to be cut down just like her family tree. Let's see, I've already killed her sister and her nephews. Hmm. Her daughter, Teresa. Let's see who's left. Miguel and his daughter, Maria. Luis and his son, Marty. Paloma. Oh, and Teresa's children, Jane and little Ethan. Oh, what a beautiful family. It's a shame they all have to die. <laughs> Paloma, Noah, Kay and I are glad you guys could meet us here. What's going on? Well, long story short, Mama wants to take us all on a trip around the world. What? Yeah. Wow, dude, you're kidding. Yeah, just hear him out first before you ask any questions, okay? Okay, yeah, she wants us to get married sooner before we leave. Uh, wow. Uh, that's great. I mean, I'm all for getting married sooner, but uh, where's this coming from? Man. But, you know, it, it's what Pilar wants, so that that's what we're going to do. Yeah, can mm -hmm. we count you guys in? Mm -hmm. Okay, I like I said, I'm all for getting married sooner, but I'm about to start med school soon, and I can't just, you know, jaunt off for a long vacation not knowing when I'm going to come back. Mm -hmm. Neither can I. Vincent's on the loose, and Alistair's killer's still at large. The whole force is working these cases, including myself. Hey, Fancy and Louise have people to cover for them. I'm sure you can do the same. Yeah, but why now? What's the big rush to leave town? Mama wanted to surprise us. Yeah, why wait? There's no time like the present. Uh, I'm not buying it. Uh, me neither. What's really going on? Okay, we'll tell you, but... You have to promise that you won't say anything to Pilar. The truth is is that the woman responsible for Teresa's death is coming to Harmony to kill Pilar and everyone that she loves. Mama is afraid that if we don't leave town, 
we'll all be murdered by Juanita Vasquez. Honey, you have got to relax. Oh, do you need some batteries? Because I have plenty. I do not need any batteries. I have Ethan. Well, I know, and I have Juan and Pedro, and I have them on speed dial, but I swear sometimes... Sorry. Sorry. What I meant to say is that Teresa is dead. Okay? And she is not going to threaten you from 20,000 leagues under the sea. Well, that's what you think. But her memory is haunting Ethan from beyond her watery grave. Uh, who cares about her memory? He does. Uh, honey, not for long. He's going to forget all about her as soon as he renews his vows with you. I hope so. Honey, of course. Look, once he says, I do in church, he's going to make a commitment to you that he's going to keep. Technically, yes. But I... But what? You two are getting remarried. Cue happily ever after? Look, I just can't shake the feeling that something's going to go wrong, all right? Honey, nothing is going to go wrong. All right, she's not going to crawl out from the belly of the shark that ate her to keep Ethan from marrying you. Yeah, I guess you're right. Of course I'm right. You and Ethan are going to be together forever, and there is nothing that can change that. Writing a letter for Ethan to find kept little Ethan from being sent away to boarding school. Hopefully, after Ethan reads this latest letter I left for him to find, he'll honor my wish never to remarry. My dearest darling, Ethan. That's right, Ethan. Read the letter. If you just hold off recommitting to Gwen a little while longer, we'll be able to be together. But if you renew your vows to Gwen now, it won't happen. Please do as I ask in my letter and don't recommit to Gwen. to me here. It's about time. I'm sorry, I had uh, problems with my uh, <clears throat> disguise. You know, you always have an excuse for everything. She never stops. So, uh, why did you want me to meet you here? In a minute. First, I'm late. Then she keeps me waiting. Uh, what's that? <clears throat> I call this my family killing tree. I want to picture everyone connected to Pilar who is going to die. And not just her immediate family, but her in-laws and their children as well. <laughs> you, uh, plan to kill the spouses of Pilar's children? That's what in-laws are, you adult. I'm sorry, senora. My, uh, English is not as good as yours. More excuses. I don't know why I put up with you. I live to serve you, senora. Well, there's that. Stupid bitch. So, uh, senora, how do you plan to commit such a massacre? Oh, it's going to actually be very easy. Pilar's children have unknowingly made it so I can kill them all at once. Of course, innocent people will die, but so what? Senora, how do you plan to wipe out all of Pilar's family? <laughs> Why, at a wedding, of course. Actually, it is several weddings, all rolled into one. Two of Pilar's children are planning to get married in the same ceremony, along with some family friends. Little do they realize that their huge wedding will end up a mass funeral. <laughs> I thought Juanita's threat to your family had passed. Not anymore. Not since Juanita escaped from custody in Mexico. 
Mama always fears Juanita will track us down in harmony. Yeah, well, apparently she has. That's why Mama is so desperate for us all to get out of town as soon as possible. Look, Luis and I would much rather stay and fight this no, one. count me in on that. Yeah, but Pilar is totally against it, okay? She cannot bear the thought of losing another loved one. So, Kay and Fancy convinced Luis and me that we should go on this trip for Mama's sake. She's lost Teresa and her nephews and her sister. If anyone else gets hurt, she's not going to be able to take it. So we all need to go on this trip for her. Which is why we just, we want to have the wedding right away before we all leave. Is that okay? Of course. I, I'm, I'm not sure. Gwen, this is no time to be a whiny, nervous wreck. Look, you have got to pull yourself together. <laughs> Teresa is dead. The doe-eyed skank is gone. So you have to take charge of your life, take charge of your future with Ethan. And you have to remember that with Teresa dead and gone, the only thing that can come between you and Ethan is you, Gwen. It's you. I know. I know you're right. And I guess it's... Just because Teresa has been a threat to my happiness with Ethan for so long, it's impossible for me not to see her that way, even though I know she's dead. Honey, I know. Trust me. I understand. Teresa is like garbage. I mean, the room stinks long after she's left. And trust me, if I thought she was alive, I would be nervous too. But she's not. She's dead. She is shark poop on the ocean floor. And not even Teresa can come back from death by digestion. Yes, Ethan's reading my letter. Ethan, I pray that you never get this letter. But if you do, well, then something has happened to take me away from you. God, Teresa. I need you to know how much I love you. Words really do fail me, Ethan. All I can say is that there is no other love in the world as great as ours for each other. No, there isn't. You were the love of my life. From the day as children we played together outside the cottage to the day I spilled paint on you at the carnival. And every day since. I never stopped loving you. And I never will. And I will always love you, too. We shared so much, Ethan. So many wonderful things, so many special moments. We had our share of troubles too. Most of them my fault. But everything I ever said or did came from loving you. I know that. And even though we're apart now, I know your love for me is as strong and lasting as mine is for you. I can't do this. I can't read this. This hurts too much. No, Ethan, don't stop. You have to read my letter not to marry Gwen. Keep reading, Ethan. You have to know you cannot recommit to Gwen. Luis, you promised Pilar that you would leave Harmony with her and your family to elude Juanita. You can't go back on your word now. Don't worry, I'm not. I'm just saying, I don't like leaving town because of Juanita. It's like giving up without a fight. Well, just remember, you and Miguel are doing it for Pilar and Paloma and all the people who love you. I know, it's still hard. Even after the workout I put you through? <laughs> That's not what I was talking about. Mm. Although, now that you mention it. <laughs> you will never get through airport security packing heat like that. Yeah, it's not going to fit in the overhead compartment either. <laughs> we got a problem. Uh -huh. A big problem. Uh -huh. Good thing I know how to solve it. Yeah, well. Uh -huh. <laughs> By the time I'm finished with you, the only hard thing that you'll have left to deal with is leaving Harmony like you promised. <laughs> now that Juanita's on the loose again, She's made it very clear that she's coming after me and my family. Even my precious grandchildren. Oh, my God. And you have Marty. Now you're pregnant with Luisa's child. Or so everyone thinks. So you see, you're all in danger. I remember when Marty was alone with Juanita in Mexico. 
she made it very clear that he was not safe no matter what precautions we took. That's right. This is a ruthless woman. I know this is short notice, but trust me, I wouldn't ask you to do this unless it was absolutely necessary. She killed my sister and her sons and Teresa. And she's not going to stop until she's killed us all. Oh, my God. We understand. Good. Please just start making your arrangements to leave. I will notify you of all the details as soon as they're worked out. My God, and Sharon, I, I, do you think the situation is really as bad as Pilar says it is? Pilar is the most level-headed person I know. If she says that our lives are in danger, then it's as bad as she says, if not worse. You know what? For once, you are right. For once? I know that I have no reason to be concerned about Teresa. I mean, she's dead. She's... She's part of the food chain, like you said. Oh, yeah, remind me not to eat Mexican lobster anymore. Because, you know, they are scavengers. So they could have picked up little parts of Teresa that are on the floor that the shark didn't digest. Oh, and still, I will feel so much better once Ethan and I renew our vows in church in front of God. Then I know that he will not leave me again, no matter what. What do you mean you don't know if you can leave Harmony or not? You heard, okay, Miguel. We'll be getting buried, not married, if we stay. Look, I'm about to start med school. I can't just go off on some random vacation for who knows how long. If my mother is freaking out enough to make such a drastic decision, we have to go along with her. Great, then go along with her, and I'll stay here. No. Look, guys, this is obviously something you need to discuss in private. I understand where Noah's coming from. I, I felt that way, too, at first. But Kay convinced me to... Change my mind. <laughs> so you're going to pressure me, too? No, I just right now, can you at least agree to move the wedding up? Okay, of course. You can count on us. Sweet. Good. Now we just need to talk to Gwen and Ethan. Oh, talk to Ethan and me about what? Mama has plenty of family trip, and we want to get married before we leave. Yeah, we would like to move up the wedding date. Would you and Ethan be okay with that? Oh, well, uh... I'm sure that uh, Ethan and Gwen would be more than okay with it. I, I'm sure they want to renew their vows as soon as possible. The sooner the better. <laughs> Don't stop, Ethan. Please finish reading the letter I planted in my diary for you to find. You have to get to the part where I beg you never to remarry, even though I am gone. I can't do it. I can't bear to read any more of Patrice's letter. It's too hard to know that I'm never going to have that love again. Please, Ethan, you have to finish reading my letter or I could lose you forever. I'm sorry, Teresa. Maybe I'll finish it when time has dulled the pain of losing you a little bit. No, Ethan, don't. Don't leave, please. Finish reading the letter, please. here without knowing what she wrote to me. No matter how much it hurts, I have to know what she wrote to me. Thank you, God. Once Ethan reads the rest of my letter, he can't possibly recommit to Gwen. He'll still be free to be with me once I'm free to go back to him. Even though we're apart now, I know your love for me is as strong and lasting as mine for you. There isn't another love like it, and there never will be. Nothing can ever come between us, Ethan. Nothing can ever stop our love, not even death. Not even death. That's why I want you to know that. He's almost there, Ethan. Oh, no. What are you doing up here? I've, I've been looking for you. 
I was just looking through some of Teresa's things. Damn it. I found a letter that she wrote me that I had never seen before. I hope it's not like the one conveniently insisting you not send Lilith and Arjane off to boarding school. Um, well, Ethan, Noah, and Paloma, and Kay and Miguel are downstairs, and they want to know if we're okay with moving up the wedding date. Oh, God. I, I told them, of course, I had to run it by you first, but I can't imagine you not wanting everyone to get married right away, right? I mean, why wait? This can't be happening. Everyone is actually, you know, they're downstairs, and, and they want to go over the plans, assuming you're okay with everything. I can't think of a reason why not to. Great, then let's go downstairs and tell everyone we're, we're okay with it. You go ahead. You go ahead. I'm going to hang back for a little bit. I am not leaving you alone to finish Teresa's damn letter. Let's go tell everyone together. Sure. Commit to Gwen. I mean, he renews his vows to her. I lose him forever. I wonder if Luis will really leave town with his family. I mean, it just seems out of character for him not to stay and take on Juanita. Well, I get the sense that Pilar has convinced her whole family to leave with her. And if Luis is going, we can be sure Fancy is going too. She'd be stupid not to. I'm not about to let my slut sister go off on some trip with Luis. I'm going to go, too, and that way he can be reminded that I'm pregnant with his baby. Well, I'm going to go tell Luis that we have a child together and that I'm the love of his life, not Fancy. Please, Aunt Sheridan, you and Fancy are old news. I'm Luis's future, me and my baby. So then I take it you're going on the trip. Of course. Can't disappoint Pilar. But don't worry, I'll send you some postcards. <laughs> Save the postage, honey, because Marty and I would not miss this trip for anything. Suit yourself. You know, before we start packing, we better go talk to Luis and find out if he and Fancy are even going on this trip. Good idea. I'm not going to lose Luis to Juanita What's-Her-Name or Fancy. Hmm. <laughs> oh. My. God. <laughs> that was. Uh, uh, I was there. Uh, no more second thoughts about leaving, I hope. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. I'm in. Mm -hmm. At least for now. Well, I will do whatever I can to keep you committed. <laughs> I'm counting on it. Who is it? It's Pilar. Huh. Uh, just a minute. Like, I can't guess what they've been doing. Hey. Come I on, just spoke it. to uh, Sheridan and Pretty. I, I think that... I think that I've convinced... Uh, Pretty and Sheridan to join us. And, and you don't have to worry about Marty because Sheridan's going to bring him. Look, well, I know I've agreed to go on the trip, but I want you to know that I'm not happy about the reason why we're going. What, what do you mean, honey? I mean, spending time together as a family? Really? More like because some deranged whack job of a woman is trying to kill our family? Who told you such a thing? What? Don't blame Fancy. Has everyone in this town forgot that I'm a cop? Okay, now I never really bought your reason that we were going on some trip around the world to honor Teresa's memory. Especially when you insisted that Sheridan and Pretty and Marty come along with us. So I did a little investigating. Found out the truth. Look, Look mijo, Juanita called me. And she's on her way here, if she's not here already. Now, you saw firsthand what that woman is like in Mexico. She's not going to stop until she's killed us all, and I just... I can't let that happen. I can't just sit back and let my family be murdered because of my past with that woman. But you didn't do anything It doesn't her. matter to her. She blames me for the deaths of her husband and her children. 
She wants to even the score by killing my entire family. So we can't be here when she gets to Harmony, or we will all die, Lise. Even though you have failed me repeatedly up to now, I understand that you are an expert at explosives. Si, senora. Good. I want you to go over every inch of this place to see where to plant a bomb for maximum impact. You uh, want to plant a bomb inside the church. Isn't that what I just said? Si, senora. I've learned that Pilar's children have moved up their wedding date so that they can all be married before they flee harmony. And they are so caught up in planning their nuptials that they haven't a clue that I'm already here plotting their deaths. <laughs> what Pilar's family thinks will be their wedding day will actually be the day they all die in a massive explosion. <laughs> well, Ethan's all for moving up the wedding ceremony, right? Yeah, that's right. I mean, Gwen and I couldn't think of a single reason why you wouldn't be for it. Finish reading my letter, Ethan. It'll tell you why you can't recommit to Gwen. Clara wants us all to get married before we go on this trip that she's been planning. So she actually just went to check with Louise and Fancy right now. Oh, the more the merrier, I say. I mean, uh, four couples getting married will be fabulous, won't it, Ethan? I've got to stop this. I'll get my PDA to see how soon we can rebook the church. Hey, Gertrude, you heard the big news? We're having our weddings as soon as possible. You can't do it. Excuse me? You, you can't move up the wedding. You know what? I need you to call the whole thing off. Okay, I don't mean to be rude, but who are you to tell us what to do? No, oh, God. Look. It's me. It's your sister. I'm alive and... And I can't let Ethan remarry Gwen. Oh, my God. Teresa. So, Miguel and Paloma have agreed to, you know, marry Kay and Noah before we take the trip. And I, I don't know, but I'm assuming that Gwen and Ethan will follow their lead as well. Oh. And you're hoping Fancy and I will make it a quad couple super ceremony. <laughs> yes. Huh. Sounds good to me. What do you think? Are you kidding? I love the idea. I can't wait to be your wife. All right, then it's settled. <laughs> Fancy and I are going to get married along with everyone else before we leave. <laughs> Perfecto. This is fabulous. I mean, moving the wedding up is exactly what you need. It, it'll make you stop worrying about Teresa's ghost stealing Ethan from you. You want to bed? What, what now? I, just before I found Ethan in the attic going through Teresa's things. <sighs> I knew we should have burnt everything. Yeah, well, he found her diary and there was some sort of letter in there that she wrote to him. What, another letter? Oh, honey, this is exactly what happens when you let the help learn how to read and write. The next thing you know, they're going to want to vote, too. What? what? Oh, but, honey... The point is, you cannot worry about what Teresa wrote in some old letter to Ethan. I mean, she's dead. That letter's in the past. I don't know. I have a really strange feeling about that letter. Oh, gosh. Paloma. Paloma. Wake up, honey. Wake up, Paloma. Right here. Hi. Teresa? Oh, my God. Paloma. Hey, what's going on? She fainted. What? Why? Paloma? Why was she calling you Teresa? I would place the bomb right here for maximum carnage. Let me see that. Thanks. 
Excellent. You actually may be good at something. Gracias, señora. The way you've planned to plant the bomb, all but guarantees that no one will survive. Si, sí, señora. I wouldn't be surprised if none of the church was still standing after the explosion. I love it when you talk bloody. <clears throat> yes, the entire church caving in. That is exactly the horrific scene I want Pilar to see. I don't understand, Senora. How won't be Pilar be blown up with the rest of her family? Not the way I see it. I want Pilar to suffer more. I want her to know the pain and devastation that I have felt since she murdered my Carlos and caused my children to be killed. I want to see the excruciating agony on her face when she sees her family wiped out in an instant. How will you manage that? I have a plan. <laughs> a brilliant plan. To torture my dear friend, Paloma. <laughs> Paloma? Paloma. Hey, Paloma. Why was she calling you Teresa? What? Oh, oh she, she, uh, she was calling out for Teresa, you know, because, uh, well, she uh, wishes with all her heart that Teresa could go to your wedding. Oh, yeah, great. Yeah, um, look, I'm going to go get her some water from the kitchen. Uh, sure. I don't want to upset anyone in the living room. No, hey, no. Will you take a... Uh, make sure you keep an eye on her, okay? Of course. Thanks, Gretchen. Yes, sure. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. you got to wake up before no one gets back. Look at me. Are you sure, Luis, that you'll marry me before we leave Harmony? Like I said, the sooner, the better. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> Thank you, Mio. Thank you for going along with all our plans. I'm going to go tell the others. Okay. <laughs> oh. Hey. Aunt Sheridan, pretty. Did you hear the news? Luis and I are getting married right away. Before we all leave Harmony. <laughs> you know the real reason we're going on the trip, right? Yes, yes. Pilar told us everything. Well, for the record, I hate the idea of running from Juanita. But since I agreed to do it, I figured, why not make it a honeymoon? <laughs> now, it's not every day that four couples get married at once, especially two sets of three <laughs> siblings each. And then I figured, hey, it's going to stick in my craw a lot less if uh, while we're running from Juanita, at least... We're on a honeymoon. <laughs> well, uh, of course, I, um, Ethan and Gwen will stay here, but I'm confident that they'll allow, you know, little Ethan and Jane to come with us, and, and they'll be good company for Marty. <clears throat> so, uh, you and Pretty are coming too? Uh, Pilar thinks we should. And, and we agree. <sighs> good. I can't tell you how relieved I am that... Our whole extended family is finally safe from Juanita. I'm gonna go tell everyone. Okay, we'll get changed and meet you downstairs. All right. Well, you'd better at least pretend to be happy for Luis and Fancy. <laughs> Never. And I won't let Luis marry Fancy either. How do you plan to stop them? I don't know yet. But Luis will never marry my sister. I'm pregnant with his baby. Luis will marry me, the mother of his child. You can count on it. Wow. 
Well, four weddings at once, I, I think this could be a new record for Harmony. Well, I want you to know that Ethan and Gwen will be happy to do their part, won't you? We can't wait. Well, why don't I call and get us some champagne? That way we can all uh, celebrate. I, I hope we can get the church right away. Well, no one, Paloma, must be out checking right now. Oh, damn it. First chance he gets, Ethan goes back to reading Teresa's stupid letter. Well, enough is enough. Why don't you, um, why don't you read that later? You know, after we've planned the most special day in our lives. Sorry. I think Ethan needs to lose that letter as suddenly as he found it. Teresa's his past, and I am his future. the weddings from happening. Even if Noah and I back out, Gwen and Ethan will still get married. So will Kay and Miguel and, and Luis and Fancy too. I know, I know, I know. I gotta think of something, you know? Okay, just tell me something first. Why can Ethan know you're alive? He would never recommit to Gwen if he knew. Well, uh, Paloma, it's, it's Juanita. I mean, she, she could be in harmony right now, and if she is, she could target little Ethan and Jane before you and everyone else is able to get out of town. I don't know. Just please, j just come with us on the trip, and, and then you can tell Ethan the truth. No, no. Why would Ethan leave, okay? And why would he leave unless Gwen went with him? Okay, you, 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 okay, that, that, that's fine. Just, what are you going to do now? I don't know. I really need you to help me stop this wedding so I can think of something. Okay, but what can I do then? Oh, my God. Paloma, thank God you came too. Here, drink this. What happened? Uh, uh, Gertrude said you got all worked up over Teresa. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I have to stop Ethan from marrying Gwen. And the best way to do that is for Ethan to finish reading my letter not to remarry. I'm so excited that we're moving at the wedding, aren't you guys? Yeah, absolutely. We can't, can't wait. Yeah, we've got a lot to plan. Not a whole lot of time to do it. What are your plans for Pilar? I am going to keep her from being here inside the church so that it blows sky high just as she arrives. I can't wait to see the look of utter horror and devastation on her face when she sees the church explode, knowing that everyone she loves is inside, dying horribly, painful deaths. And then, I want to see her pick through the rubble, desperately searching for her children and her grandchildren, only to find their lifeless, mutilated bodies. I can't wait to see Pilar drop to her knees in agony, screaming out that she's lost everyone she loves. I want Pilar to be in the worst pain of her life when I finally kill her. And my plan guarantees she will be. 